Venezuela. We are in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what do you expect, Andy, from, from Rafa, first match here in Rome? Well, listen, we got to get the quote right. It's what happened in, it's what happened in Madrid. In. It's happened in Madrid. And, 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 but now we are in Rome. But that was one of the most brilliant uh, press conference answers. It's, it's like the tennis version of AI's practice yeah. uh, press conference. But um, listen, I, it's a scary thing because I've said on air, I even said on air last week when we were talking, he's the master of under-promising and over-delivering, right? Basically before Madrid saying, I don't know that I can even play at this level. And then he goes and wins three matches, right? Uh, he's saying he's feeling great in Rome and saying he's as encouraged as he's been by his body and his form as he's been for a long time. He can absolutely make a run at this tournament. Hubie Hercoc, uh, second round, uh, no disrespect to Zizou. I just don't know if he has the, the the goods and the weapons to actually affect Rafa, but it's a scary thing when, when Rafa's pumping himself up publicly before an event. That must mean he's feeling very, very good. Absolutely, and, and Rafa's talked about the fact he can't remember the last time that he was able to play three tournaments in a row. So Barcelona and then Madrid and now Rome. He arrived on Saturday, said he, he's feeling good, he's excited to play here. I think it's important that he got a qualifier. I mean, unseated. It's crazy. Unseated. <laughs> Rafa Nadal uh, got a, a qualifier in Bergs. Now, if he moves forward to Hercoc, you know, I wonder about that serve. The serve hasn't been coming in hot and he's going to feel the pressure to kind of hold serve with the Hercoc serve even though it's clay and it slows Hubie's serve down a little bit but let's wait for that mm. let's just enjoy Rafa right now I think we have to be so pleased I mean this guy is like a car that has what 200,000 miles 300,000 miles on it <laughs> I mean you're just hoping it, it it keeps hanging in there that's what we want to see more times that we can see him out on the court and enjoy yeah. this the better now we've seen photos of him Andy with, with once again Rafa Jr on, oh. on, you know on, on tour with him watching him play which is what Nadal wants to see as well but what, what did you take out of Madrid the most positive for Nadal uh, health health right he played four matches and at some point during that event we stopped looking for injuries and we started watching the tennis like simply we started watching what he could do again and I found myself like guiltily analyzing oh he's having a little bit of a tougher time getting out of the backhand corner completely like deleting the last two years of struggle out of my mind like a dum dum uh, <laughs> but but listen uh, he, listen if you would have told him going into Madrid that he could get four matches test his body and come up good on the other side that little highlight that we were showing from practice in Rome. I saw a full-on fist pump when he won a point in practice. <laughs> this guy is ready to go. <laughs> He's dialed in, Tracy. He's dialed in. And I think, you know, Andy, you hit on it. Winning three matches, playing a fourth, losing to Lehechka, but match after match after match, that's so important. And a guy like Nadal, who's done it so many times, you just felt like every match he's gaining. He's gaining, what, 10, 20 25 percent he's feeling more comfortable more confident in mm. his body and that's what's so so important and the fact that he arrived here on Saturday plenty of days beforehand to practice practice with the other players just to that really sharpens you up as well to play points to maybe play sets with them and continue to test your body what's crazy to think about it, he holds all the records in Madrid as well but that was only five titles. I mean, it, it, he probably is a little more confident when it comes to playing in Rome that he's won double that amount of titles. Looking forward to when he plays his first match against Zizou Bergs.